Hello Unigame fan, since we last took a look, there have been a number of promising roguelites that reared their heads. Beginning with Witch and Council, an adorable looking deck builder where you command a coven of witches as they battle enemies, coming to us from a Korean developer where I really love the art and animation. Roguelites come in all shapes and sizes, but we're looking at the first person entry, Dead Link, here. This is a cyberpunk entry where you go after the mega corporations, costing them a pretty penny as you go on a rampage. Visually, this looks fantastic and has interesting weapons, but I'm interested in the progression systems. This video is brought to you by Patch Quest from developer Lychee Game Labs and publisher Curve Games. Well, I'm happy to share that it will be releasing out of early access on the 13th of October. This is a monster taming action roguelite with metroidvania elements. We have to wrangle these creatures, ride them, and use their abilities both in combat as well as to get to new parts of the world. There is a central hub area which you can upgrade, as well as impressive combat with plenty of projectiles, but this game has been a labor of love for this solo developer and is very impressive work. If you're interested in the game dev side of YouTube, their YouTube channel is certainly worth a follow, so pick this up if you have not and look forward to the full release. Remember when I said that we have quite the amount of variety in roguelites? Well, Ship of Fools is something different in that this is a co-op action title that looks very promising. It has you and a friend working together to keep your ship afloat, manning the weapons to blast away at enemies, or scurrying about making repairs. There's even the expected relic system for in-run upgrades and does have an amazing look as well. Also, there is the option to play solo, but it seems like it was designed with co-op in mind, making this quite unique. There have been an increasing number of 3D action roguelites as compared to their top-down variants, with Rogue Soulstone looking fairly impressive, where it's not just a 3D title but does look kind of like an MMO to me. There are plenty of abilities on cooldowns and a ton of icons on screen, with the high fantasy setting that you would expect of something like World of Warcraft. It is, however, fully single-player which makes sense for this type of game, but again, it's something different in this genre. Mechanically, there's nothing too unique about the look or gameplay of Dunjungle, but come on, you play as an ape, exploring and fighting your way through the jungle in this roguelike platformer, so what's not to love? There's plenty of enemies to contend with, giving off a little bit of a Splunky vibe as well. Impossible, I thought, as I peered through the brush. Buried under the earth was a forest so lush, filled with flora and fauna and pits large and small. If not for my shoot, I'd have died from a fall. With effective pixel art, looking very well made indeed. Another amazing looking game is Ending Tao, one where you're fighting mythical monsters and has a mechanic that allows you to transform parts of your body into different forms which grants you new abilities. I think that this looks amazing, certainly giving off Hyper Light Drifter vibes, where you're battling against the forces of the god of darkness Tao, cleansing the world of his curse, certainly being one to watch. I covered the prologue demo of Spellbook Demon Slayers and gave it a little jab since the character is a spellbook, which honestly doesn't matter to me, but apparently this is a placeholder for now and will get sorted out when it releases in October. This is the latest Vampire Survivors like, but does allow you to combine spells and upgrades, Path of Exile style, having previewed very well and is of interest. 
It is not often that I look at Kickstarter games in videos like this, but Titan Shell is worth a mention, one that just crossed its funding goal as of recording and looks pretty amazing. It has you piloting a mech or a shell, taking on a variety of foes in a dystopian world ruled by a theocratic government. The pixel art in this looks pretty good and does a very interesting thing of playing with size and scale of the world and enemies, where I like that you're able to eject from the shell and adventure on foot in a manner similar to Panzer Paladin. It bears mentioning that this comes to us from a team of three developers, one of which is noted Hollow Knight lore master Mossbag, so I wish them all the best for their game. Escape the Mad Empire is one of the more unique entries in the space, being a party-based roguelike dungeon crawler with real-time combat, looking like some sort of cross between Baldur's Gate and Gauntlet, but in the meantime, check out the best action roguelites that you can play right now.